Hi everyone, I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to care for guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are not the easiest small pets to take care of, but they are very rewarding as they're sweet and funny little animals, each with their own personality. They need daily care, so you'll need to make sure that you or someone else who is responsible is there for them every day. They're not the kind of pet you can leave with a pile of food while you go away for the weekend. Guinea pigs need a lot of space. Those tiny cages you may have seen in pet shops are just not suitable for guinea pigs. A pair of guinea pigs will need at least a 120 centimetres by 60 centimetres cage and that's equivalent to 4 by 2 feet. This is the very minimum and we recommend a cage that measures 150 by 60 centimetres and that's 5 foot by 2 foot. Guinea pigs are best kept indoors, although in certain conditions they can be kept safely outdoors, providing they have a secure hutch and the weather isn't too cold or too hot. An enclosure needs to have a smooth flat base and to be covered with an absorbent bedding. There are several different types of bedding that can be used for guinea pigs, including washable fleece liners and certain safe wood shavings. The housing will need to be thoroughly cleaned out every few days, usually every three to seven days, depending on the type of bedding, number of guinea pigs and the size of their accommodation. Some spot cleaning is also required daily. Guinea pigs have specific requirements when it comes to diet. It's very important that they're given the right food on a daily basis otherwise they will get sick. There are three types of food that they'll need. Hay is the most important part of their diet and this needs to be available to them at all times as they'll graze on it throughout the day. Without constant access to hay they can get really ill. They'll need fresh vegetables and in particular leafy green veggies each day. This can include certain herbs and they can also eat some fresh fruit but only in very small amounts. You can also forage and find some safe wild plants that are good for them too. They'll need a small amount of pellet food every day as well. Guinea pigs should have water available at all times, preferably in a bottle that you can fix to the side of their enclosure. Guinea pigs benefit from being handled. Although it can be extremely difficult to pick up a guinea pig when you're not used to it, perseverance will pay off. Taking your guinea pigs out for a cuddle on a daily basis will help them become more used to you. They can become stressed really easily, so getting them used to being handled will help a lot when you need to groom them, cut their nails, or if you need to take them to the vet. Short-haired guinea pigs don't usually need their coats brushed, but long-haired guinea pigs can get very tangled and dirty hair if they're not regularly groomed. They may also need their hair trimmed to keep it as clean as possible, particularly around their rear ends. Guinea pigs' nails are constantly growing. This means they'll need regular nail cuts, usually around every four weeks. Not all guinea pig owners agree with bathing guinea pigs, but if a guinea pig's coat gets dirty, they'll need to be cleaned or they'll attract flies which can cause a deadly disease called fly strike. Depending on whether they're long or short head, it's a good idea to bathe your guinea pigs around every three to six months. Guinea pigs are very interesting when it comes to their behaviour. They have lots of little noises they make, some happy, but some are sad, or noises they can make when they're distressed or in pain. It's important to become familiar with these noises so you know what each means. 
the most common noise is the weeping they make when they know food is on the way. This is definitely a happy and excited sound and the one that you'll become most familiar with. Guinea pigs are quite lively pets, so if they just sit in the corner of their cage for most of the day and do nothing, there is something wrong. One thing all guinea pig owners know is how much they love their food. If a guinea pig stops eating, this is extremely serious and they'll need to see a vet as soon as possible. If guinea pigs are well cared for, they shouldn't have many health problems but some guinea pigs are more prone to health issues than others and health issues can become more common as they get older. Make sure you're registered with a vet as soon as you get your guinea pig so you're prepared in case you need one in an emergency. It's important to give your guinea pigs a mini health check on a regular basis so you can spot anything before it becomes serious. This can potentially save your guinea pig from getting very ill and possibly save you from ending up with large vet bills as well. Look at all parts of their body and make sure there are no sores, lumps, bald spots, that their teeth haven't overgrown and that they aren't losing weight. If anything doesn't look right, make an appointment with your vet. Make sure when you adopt your guinea pigs that you aren't putting an unneutered male and female together as they're able to breed extremely quickly from a very young age. Before you know it, you could easily be overrun with guinea pigs that you're unable to look after. There have been so many incidents where this has happened, so double check the gender of your guinea pigs. The rescue centres are usually more trustworthy than a pet shop when it comes to being able to tell what gender they are. And we always recommend getting guinea pigs from a rescue centre and to avoid the pet shops for ethical reasons too. As well as the initial setup cost to buy the enclosure and accessories, you'll also have an ongoing monthly cost for food, bedding, healthcare, etc. For the initial setup costs, depending on what you buy, it could cost anywhere between £75 and £500. We asked guinea pig owners what they spent on a regular basis for all the essential items for their guinea pigs. It varies hugely between £30 and £115. There are lots of ways you can save money by foraging, growing your own vegetables, using fleece liners instead of disposable bedding and buying in bulk. Health costs will vary on where you live, but at some point your guinea pigs will most likely need to see the vet. Checkups and medication don't tend to be too expensive in general, but x-rays and operations cost a lot more. It's worth considering either guinea pig insurance or setting up a vet fund, which can be as simple as putting money regularly into a jar just in case you need it. Part of providing the proper care for your guinea pig means getting them professional help when they need it. If you're concerned about the health of your guinea pig, it's essential to make an appointment with your vet so they can get any necessary treatment before your guinea pig becomes more seriously ill. The average life expectancy of a guinea pig is between 4 and 8 years. They can sometimes even live longer than this. As a guinea pig becomes older, you can expect them to experience changes. It's normal to see changes in diet, mobility and general condition at this stage. Like humans, it can become more difficult for them to fight off infections and illnesses as they age. So check them regularly and take them to the vet if they show any signs of illness. Many new guinea pig owners don't realise the importance of having a pair of guinea pigs rather than a singleton. Guinea pigs can become extremely sad and lonely if they are housed as a single pet. Some people ask if it's okay just to have one if they give the guinea pig plenty of attention. But guinea pigs really need one of their own kind as they can communicate on the same level. 
and provide each other with a need that we humans simply can't give them. If you're at the stage where you're thinking about getting guinea pigs, do lots of research first so you know what's involved in taking care of these small pets, whether you're getting them for yourself or for your children. Please keep watching because I've got some useful resources for you that are really going to help you if you're planning on getting guinea pigs. This video has just been a brief overview of how to care for your guinea pigs, but you will need some more information such as the best cage to buy, what food to get for them, and so on. As well as the videos on our YouTube channel, we've got loads of information on our website at www.guineapiggles.co.uk, which includes product recommendations to help you make the best choices. Because we're passionate about guinea pigs, we only ever recommend products that are safe and that will promote well-being in guinea pigs. We also have some printable care sheets that you can buy on Etsy. These are great for both adults and children with checklists and information. Links for these and links to the website will be in the description below the video.